All right, we are What's back. What's up? What's up? What's up? With Duane, with G Champ, um, Gengar Stormfront, with Machamp Stormfront, and then we have Jimmy here with Gengar C. Um, with uh, Gengar C is a kind of like a snipe deck because we have Gengar's Stormfront with Shadow Room, the six to anything with Poke Powers. Um, and then we have Garchomp C, which snipes anything for 80. Oh, yeah. That was, that was so, a lot of fun. Your clay dolls will never be safe. <clears throat> nope. So, fortunately, um, you know, uh, basic Pokemon will be safe because of the, um, what's it called? The old rare candy rule. Yeah. Oh but clay dolls? Oh. No way, man. Keep here clicking. There we go. Yeah, it should be a very interesting match. Gengar and Gengar action. <clears throat> oh man, Gengar. Uh, very annoying. I hated it for sure. All right. There we go. <laughs> Does he have a double? Did a, oh what the oh no? Still thirty. It's still thirty. <laughs> yeah, that that is true. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, oh man! All he needed was three crowbats. Yeah, that would have been, been <laughs> great. Oh, I needed five crowbats because it turns into. Oh yeah, the oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> he needs five crowbats. <laughs> Only yeah. five. Oh, it can happen. I've seen it. Can you draw? Oh yeah, I can. I can imagine with uh stuff like Oxydonk being a thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, Jim, what, what, that was and fun. And Jimmy with the dog. Play another one. <laughs> no way, bro. <laughs> oh, come on. We gotta play. We gotta. Replay All right, that. we're we're making this a two out of three set because that's just no. <laughs> we're not gonna do that to you. Yep. I had such a bad hand. I have five energies. I don't want to. I mean, that's 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 what happens with donks and um, this format, man. I mean, donks definitely happen. It was very annoying, but 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 the end of. But I'm glad they switched the 2011 nationals to freaking heart girl soul to heart girl soul silver on because that was all the format was right before that. You know? Oh my god, yeah, that was awful. Just 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 being able to play trainer supporters in stadiums turn one, no disadvantage Ridiculous. going first. Ridiculous. Absolutely awful. Yeah, t I I won a battle road. And I, I I put Gyarados with the Sableye. And yep, I, just, yep. I turned one donked. I turned. I I went four zero in the tournament. I, I was every turn was a donk. It was like mm -hmm. ridiculous. Yeah, it's really dumb. Not even fair. Yeah, I um, I remember playing Valgar and then just like always starting Spirit Tomb. <laughs> Jesus. So. But you no. know what? We take those. <laughs> but no, the top four. I literally, won, I literally won in four or five, like three or four turns. Three I literally won yeah. the tournament. Yeah. Right. I mean, it was ridiculous. It's it was really dumb. That 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 rule change screwed everything up. Yeah, but but it's okay. They changed the format. Good. Good. <clears throat> Hopefully, we'll see a better one this time. Oh, you're gonna change it after you look. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> Yeah, you. I, I don't think that there's really any matchups where you want to go first. Maybe the SP mirror. Yeah. Um, so that you can call call energy turn one. But every other time, all you want is just to go second. Yeah. I will keep on saying this. It was just so funny that back then you hate to to win the flip. Oh yeah, for sure. Like it, it's it's kind of funny. Just like after spending so many years wanting to win the flip. Yeah. Oh know? yeah, and especially nowadays, it's like. Well, you can't play supporters, but still going first isn't terrible. Exactly. Like I, I would, I would say, in unless you're you're doing a mirror match or something, you'd always want to go first. Or, or if you're playing like a green deck or something. So we see a time walk from Jimmy taking yep. a an, an Uxie out of the prizes. Oh, Mewtwo level X. Okay. That's an interesting card. Definitely an interesting card. I'm not sure how much it'll do in this matchup. No, nah, it won't really do anything. Um, I, 
I mean, it, it is a psychic attacker from a champ. Um, yep. But it can also just get straight up knocked out right back. Yep. Um, because of Machamp's takeout ability. Yep. So I, I think Jimmy, Jimmy's strategy is going to be to um, kind of neuter Dwayne's setup by um, going after the Clay Dolls or, or Free Evolutions. Yeah, yeah. Oh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like Dwayne has much going on right now. No. Oh, oh man. Lock up. A lock up for like a 30. Chip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yep. So lock up uh, that Machop cannot retreat, but. Okay. Uh huh. Yep. So Dwayne can actually Roseanne's for a Bell Toy and then Rare Candy into the Clay Doll. Oh, yeah. Very interesting play. Really awesome, actually. Um,. They don't even need broken time space. That's pretty busted. Yeah. So, uh, wh wh what do you think Dwayne's uh, trying to find off of this clay doll? Uh, there's probably more basics just to set up for now, but then he'll eventually want to get a Gengar in play. Because uh, cause, cause Machamp's good right now, but yeah, Machamp is what he wants to get. It's pretty good. It, it, like, well, it's not good against a Gengar, but it'll knock out everything else pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if you can, can get a uh, rare candy. And then two Poke Blowers is a catcher. Oh, the original custom catcher. Yep. Right here. I mean, it didn't have the draw effect, but you know, essentially. <laughs> Yeah, I like the damage too. I, I, yeah, blower was better because I, I like because of the damage. damage yeah. <laughs> so, right here we have Dwayne doing a cosmic power. I, I didn't really see the cards he's putting down. Okay, I think he. Honestly, I don't have too much. I don't have too much experience with the Gengar's decks because I I never played it. Mm -hmm. So. Yep. Getting an attachment. Ooh. Okay. Two, three, just want to four. set up, set up Gengar, set up Mark Champs. Pretty much, I mean that's the that's the name of the deck, a G Champ. So um, Gengar requires two energy to do the Poltergeist attack. So Dwayne is already halfway there <clears throat> to pay for there's it. There's a war point, and there's a warp point. Okay, what Dwayne can actually do here is that he can pitch dark, and then that means that Jimmy cannot play any item cards. Yeah, that's a good play. I like it. Yep, it I like it. It, it. it definitely hinders Jimmy's setup. Better than just leaving the champ out and passing. Yep, for sure. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it was with black and white where they uh, changed trainers to encompass everything. Yeah. But <laughs> put on some Kanye, bro. <laughs> Jimmy wants some Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Jimmy is getting setting up a clay doll. Gonna try and set up a Gengar too. I'm trying to set up Gengar. Yes. <clears throat> No Garchomp C to be found, but um, I mean, knowing knowing Jimmy's hand, I think that um, I think that he definitely wants at least a clay doll out. Um, Gengar actually can snipe onto clay doll as well, yep. as long as there isn't an unknown G attached to it. So. Like that card. Oh yeah, unknown G is really nice. <laughs> Actually, um, I'm I'm pretty sure Jimmy can act um, can unknown G the Mewtwo, um, which would actually make it a really good attacker. Yeah, then yeah. against the champ. <clears throat> yep, yep. So I understand um, Dwayne's 
uh, playing that Poke Blower, but now there's only one capture effect um, that that's yeah. available to him. Yep. So I I, I guess um, it could matter, but yeah. I I think that all he really needs is one capture effect anyway, right? Just to kill the Mewtwo that's setting up, or sorry, knock out. I agree with that. That that Mewtwo that mm-hmm. Mewtwo can be with unknown G like you were saying can be will be a big problem because he can't. A champ and knock it out because it's an effect of an attack. Mm-hmm. So it would only do 40, and uh, then Mewtwo just knocks it out right back. <laughs> so yep. Doesn't feel very good. <clears throat> All right. Dwayne having the Gengar, but no rare candy, it looks like. Dwayne evolves into the Machoke. All right. Preparation for the Machamp next turn. <laughs> Or you got much going on. Yeah. Um, I probably, I, I, I think I would probably um, keep a, keep the ghastly, maybe even put it down. But oh, here we go. Can rare candy Gengar. into Gengar? Yep. Here we go. So what's so what's really annoying though about Gengar is um, the fainting spell Poke Power. Yes, very annoying for you. Your foot when it get, when it gets knocked out, you flip a coin. If heads, you're knocked. Out, your opponent, Pokemon is knocked out as well. So that was very annoying. You, you created those states sometimes where it'd be a tie game and you have to play it out. I mean, I mean, you think catcher flips are bad? Yeah, feigning spell. <laughs> feigning spell flips are even more frustrating, bro. <laughs> yep. Like, Trust me, I've played against it so many times. Like, it can decide games for sure. And it's insane, like especially against, um, especially with decks that um, invest a lot into one Pokemon. Yep. Sometimes you can just win off a of fainting spell flip. Yeah, because then that takes all. Because everything. it takes everything away, and then your opponent just was like, "Well, I spent five turns." <laughs> yep. That's why I'm doing this, and well. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's why. That's why. That's why I get to Gengar deck. It's really nice to spread out and get multiple attackers going. Mm-hmm. That's why. That's how I try to do it. Yeah, for sure. It. I, I think there was also the strategy of um, putting it down to 100 HP so that it gets knocked out by Crobat. Yep, Crobat yep, Splash Fight. Yep, I've done that. I did that. Or bringing it to 90 so that you can bottom an Uxie. Yep, yep, yep. And then um, have Fainting Spell just not be a factor because yep. Uxie's in the deck. That's right. Good point. Good point there. <laughs> so I wonder if Jimmy um, will go with that strategy, but... I, I do believe that it's only triggered from damage by attacks, correct? So if um, I believe so. Yeah. So if, if it got Shadow Room, then um, Fainting Spell wouldn't trigger. I believe that's right. If I remember correctly. I believe that's right. That's what we got here. Knocked out by damage from attack. Knocked out by damage. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> so, yep. Um, Jimmy could also just knock out a Gengar with Fainting Spell. Or, sorry, with uh, Shadow Room. <clears throat> Yep, yep. I think he spell not be a factor. So right here, I think Jimmy is probably looking for um, a Gengar. Probably target down the Claydol. Yep. Two hit knock it. Uh, two hit knockout with um, Shadow Room, yep. and then possibly also set up the Mewtwo. I like that play. Yep. So Cyrus, usually seen in SP decks, but wait, can, can you Cyrus for a, a luxury? I don't think you can Cyrus for a luxury, but um, you know what? Um, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, I don't think you can Cyrus for a luxury. You can't Cyrus for luxury, but it has to be a team Team Galactic's trainer. Yeah, so uh, if, if you have, like, an SP radar or something, yeah. Yeah, you just got to put a card on top. <clears throat> Good catch. Yeah. There we go. All right. There's so the I th- think he put, uh, Jimmy put back a supporter, which um, lowers Poltergeist's attack. By 30. And Jimmy goes with Toxic Fang, um, which is 
a very good strategy because it, um, fainting spell also doesn't count if it was uh, if Gengar is knocked out by poison. Yep, yep. And Crobat actually also has resistance to fighting, so uh, Machamp not really looking like a good attacker right now. Good, so solid play. I like it. Quite all here looking for some action. Yep. Probably looking for some energy. Looks like he found some. Ooh, and a warp point. Interesting. Interesting. Um I I wonder what kind of play uh, he might do. Yeah. No, I'm warp point I thought you meant to so Jimmy has to bring Decide. something up first. Um, but Champ can actually knock out anything on Jimmy's bench. Yep. So um, Dwayne is able to get up in the prize trade even further. And Jimmy sends up his Garchomp C. No, probably the best. Mm-hmm. All right. Realizing that Uxie probably will, will go, would go great with the gang, taking out the Gengars, so yep, Garchomp is probably the best play here. Yep, for sure. <clears throat> and then Dwayne plays Looker's Investigation. Um, he look he may look at Jimmy's hand, and then you know, um, one use for it is that. If Jimmy doesn't have enough um, trainer supporters or stadium cards in hand, um, Dwayne can put Jimmy's hand back into the deck in hopes that Jimmy draws more trainer cards in order to take a knockout with um, Gengar's Poltergeist. But, but, your, here, but, your, but your opponent can draw up to five cards, so they can choose to not draw any. Ah, yes. Right. So if they have like a couple of clay dolls, it, it just depends mm -hmm. on what... Yep. Definitely so puts one. things in interesting situations. But the main thing is it gets to look at your opponent's hand so you know it you know whether poltergeist or it's also a good mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Kind of like um Lavender Town in a way. Not quite sure. Oh yeah, um it's just a stadium that um you can just look at your opponent's hand. Oh okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so so kind of the similar function to that. Okay. <clears throat> gonna try and poison again. Yep, definitely looks like that's what's gonna happen. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, Jimmy going for I believe I, I'm not sure point. if there's going if uh, there's a Lucario. Um, Lucario C, but if there is, then that Uxie will actually knock out the Machamp. Yep. And I think there is, knowing the list. I, I There might be. Mm. Oh, there is not. There is not. But, um, if I, uh, um, does, so Zenblade does 60. Um, depending on what Machamp's uh, weakness is, if it's, uh, it's plus thirty, I think it's plus. I think <clears throat> it's plus thirty. Oh. Plus thirty, yep. Yep. If it's plus thirty, then all Ten Jimmy needs short. is just a uh, Crobat or a Poketurn or something. Yep. <clears throat> and then he can actually take a knockout. That'd be big. Machamp. Ah, there's a Poketurn in the deck. He sees it. He sees it. It's so close to the top. Jimmy really doesn't have the best luck with poker turns, huh? No. no. <laughs> Darn. Um. Uh, did he use trade off already? Uh, yeah. He did. No, no, oh, no. no. He, no he, he, he cosmic powered. I'm sorry. Okay, he cosmic powered. Four. Okay. He has not used trade off yet. He has not used trade off yet, so he's thinning. Sure. <laughs> so, so he's thinning the deck. Pokey. Poke, <laughs> Pokey turn, let's see it. Poke turn, let's see it. 
Can Jimmy finally rip a poker turn? No. He does not. <laughs> wow. Darn. Too bad for Jimmy. Um, unfortunately, that just that'll mean that that Uxy level X will get knocked out, so he won't be able to generate any more value from it. Yeah. Later on. However, it does mean that um, the Machamp could possibly be knocked out at any point in the game. Yep. Which isn't bad. Um, but if if Dwayne evolves up into uh, levels up into uh, Machamp level X though. Yeah. Uh, then unfortunately we'll be out of range. That's a big miss. <laughs> Jimmy and the poker turn this man. Alright, so Jimmy just wondering uh, which prizes yeah. Dwayne took, and this it was the Garchomp and Azelf. Azelf. Yes. Yes, yes you did. Yep. So here I think Jimmy just has to Zen Blade. Yeah, not for the knockout, unfortunately. Ten short. Damn. If Dwayne really wanted to, I guess he could um take the Machamp level X now. Um. Does it play it? I th I, I think it does. Um. It, it definitely doesn't have to, though. Um, yeah, I, I haven't seen but... the list, so I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. But... <clears throat> I mean, who knows? Uh, not knowing Jimmy's luck with po uh, pokey turns, maybe he just won't draw one for the rest of the game. <laughs> There's a broken time and space from Dwayne. Jimmy, very far behind. For sure. Surprises. Yeah, because level X's are still basics. Yeah. No, level X's are still basics. So yeah. It's leveled up. Yeah, and and um, yeah. So level X's just keep whatever stage it is. Yeah. It's not like a break or a or a V max. Yeah. So. It just adds on. More HP and, and more attacks or another body or whatever. Yep. Yeah, I think uh, level X as a concept was, I guess, meant to to play on the the, the level. Um, I uh, what's it called? The level mechanic on the cards. Well, it's not a mechanic. The level flavor text yeah, on yeah. the cards. Yeah. Being that X could be anything. Yep. Could be infinite. Yep. And I guess that's the marketing ploy. <laughs> yep. I, mean, I, I thought the Lexus were pretty, 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 pretty strong. Yeah. I mean, it does sound pretty cool, though. Oh, yeah. For, for sure. Yeah. Level X. Man. Oh, yeah. It definitely changed the game. So mm -hmm. that, that was good. For sure. I like the mechanics, too, of uh, it had to be active in order to level up. That, that if it would have been, if it had just been normal, it, it would have just been exactly. terribly busted. Yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every deck would be playing it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I guess Luxray would just be like a 1-1 one, one line in every deck. Stayed at $100. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. All right. So Jimmy right here could Toxic Fang. Um, the ideal put um, 
he's, he's got the poke turn, so. Oh, he does have the poke turn. Yeah, I, I thought I saw it. So, I wonder All right. what oh. he will do. Oh, yeah. So, I think here, um, I'd like to see Jimmy maybe knock out the Machamp and then put that Gengar up to 100 so that it can also be knocked out by um, a Flash Bite. Yep, yep, yep. Um, unfortunately, he would, have, he would have to have a Psychic or have another Gengar. Good stuff. Now, in terms of the Shadow Room War in between Dwayne and Jimmy, I believe um, Jimmy would um, come out on top. Yeah. Um, just based off the field right now. Yep, makes sense. So the the way Jimmy's doing it is he's going to knock out the Gengar. And then if Dwayne decides to respond back with either Poltergeist or Machamp's Rage Attack, um, he's forcing a 50-50 flip with Fainting Spell. I like this play a lot because um, it, it doesn't require Jimmy to have a second Poke turn um, necessarily. Now, if if, if the Macha if uh, fainting spell is tails, and Dwayne attacks with a Machamp, then we could see some problems. But oh, yeah. for uh, for Jimmy, but we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah. So we see Dwayne using Pokeblower. Start setting a Mewtwo and plays a Cynthia. Cynthia's feelings. So shuffle draw eight because um, the Gengar, was knocked, Gengar was knocked out last turn. So whatever Dwayne's looking for, I think um, we'll probably find it. Um, Oh, I didn't know this, but the deck plays Lucian. Lucian's assignment, which I think um, allows it to move around any energies. Yeah. So, no that could be interesting. It ain't doing anything against Gengar. 40. 40. Oh, and the 40. And there's a 40. <laughs> That's a top deck there we go. right there. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, and then we can, um, so Jimmy top deck to Cyrus and can actually get another pokey turn to knock out this active image champ. That's big. Definitely big. And it looks like Jimmy is starting to claw his way back into the game. So... Probably also getting psychic energy and maybe Final another Cyrus. Turn. Yep. Now, um, af after taking um, a prize off with a flash bite, what do you think? Um, what do you think Jimmy will do after this? I don't know. Yeah, probably just. Start picking off, picking off the other Gengar. Yep, sounds good to me. The main, the main thing you want to do is get all the Gengars out of play. Oh yeah, for sure. And then Jimmy, um, wisely playing down the number of trainers, trainers yeah. in his hand, so that Poltergeist doesn't knock him out in return.
So as of now, Jimmy only has two in hand. So Poltergeist would be doing only a maximum of 60. So I, I think right now what, what Dwayne could possibly do in response is um, moving all the energy to Mewtwo yeah. and then cyberning for 200 or something. Oh yeah. And then uh, Jimmy oh, so sets up. Like I expected. Yep. No, it's sixty. It's sixty because there's a poke of power. <clears throat> power. <clears throat> uh, shadow room. We're good. We're good. It's good. Yep. So Jimmy. <laughs> Come on, bro. I point something out, man. I want a regionals with with Vagar, bro. <laughs> this is it. I know Gengar. I never played it though. Dude, I flipped so many fainting spell heads during that regional struggle. <laughs> it was insane. Must be nice. It really was. God. Were you still in seniors then? Oh yeah, I was still in seniors. Okay. So I mean, people just didn't know how to uh, deal with turn one item lock. <laughs> And then having the twins chain and oh my god, <laughs> it was disgusting. Must be not. Oh, twins, so good. Well, Vilegar was disgusting, especially with twins. Twins is a ridiculous card. Oh yeah. Party boys. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy doing some caramel dancing over there. I played a one of in Lux Chop in 2011. One of uh, twins. Twins. Yep. Because uh, a lot of times it was a prize race. When you get down in prizes, you need your double colors. You just oh, and then you just twins with double colors. Genius. So yep. uh, some some people some people played it. Some people didn't. It just depended on how you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Some people added twins to do that. You need you need yeah. certain cards. You just. Did you run versus seeker as well? Uh yeah, I ran one, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very interesting. One or two. <clears throat> Yeah, I think, I, I think, um, putting the 2010 format in today's terms would kind of be like playing a greens deck. Yeah, yeah. Like you have to plan out all your turns, you know, try to maximize the value of all the cards in your hand. And sometimes I, I would agree just, with that. Sometimes you just have to rely on top decks too. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. But um, that's just the nature. That's just the nature of the game. Uh, yep. Um. I don't, and you know we've we've seen the game change from these methodical um, plans to take six prizes into um, how do I hit my cards while also making my opponent miss the cards that they need. Yeah, and it's like three prizes, two prizes, game, three prizes, three. It's right. Like the game We're... games are getting a lot faster nowadays. It's just like. Mhm. Mm For sure. Like, sometimes, you know, it's just even better to do nothing Yeah. Um, in this format, especially with limited amounts of um, gust effects. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I, I feel like even if you uh, missed a turn or two, sometimes, like, you, you, you would still have a shot at winning. Yeah. Whereas I feel like oh, now, no. if you just miss a turn, you're, you're done. Yeah. No! So. God, <laughs> Jimmy ripping on the deck. <laughs> well, I guess he just got the babies or something. <laughs> Jimmy looking for the SP radar, but unfortunately not finding it as it has already been played. Oh, no, it only plays one? Um, I believe so. That's really, um, weird. That's really weird. Or or the other one's prize. Yeah. Nope, yeah, only yeah. one one of SP Radar. Cyrus energy isn't here either. Cyrus was the worst thing to take. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
Oh no. Yeah, he could have just straight up gotten the Beves, but uh well. You live and you learn sometimes. Oh yeah. That's okay. <laughs> oh man. Well, um I think it wouldn't be bad for Jimmy to um to go into the uh fresh Gengar, but I'm not really sure if that matters that much. Yeah, I think I think now Jimmy just shadow rooms um and then he will be yeah. pretty much in full control actually. I I, I seem to agree. Uh, Dwayne doesn't look like he has anything going on. Oh. oh, he's retreating to the fresh king girl, like you said. Okay. And then shadow rooming. <clears throat> no, wait. You No. No fainting spell. No fainting spell. It got, it got knocked out by an ability. It's, it's placing damage counter. Yeah, so it's only by damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, if only, though. Dirt. If, if Fainting Spell was, like, any knockouts, oh, my God, that would be insane, bro. Or on the bench. Yeah, right? Oh, man. Like, I think Gengar would just be one of the best cards printed, period. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah. So Dwayne actually attacking with the um Ditto. Um which which actually acts as kind of like a basic Gengar. Because it just copies um any yeah. attacks. Yep, and it gets its HP. Yeah. So this is actually um a very good attack for Dwayne because Jimmy yep. just can't um shat uh shadow room back. Yep. It would actually four hit knockouts. Yeah. The ditto because it also copies the HP. So what do you what do you what's he looking for here? Four cards. So I think Dwayne is just I'm not really sure what else he would be looking for except for more energy, energy to follow card. up, possibly. Energy. Um, maybe even um Poke Blower. Um, to maybe bring up the Claydol and stall and shadow room around it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Makes sense. Because Jimmy has a lot of poke powers out right now. So <laughs> if if Dwayne can just stick a Claydol active and just shadow room around it, um, seems like a pretty good situation for him. Yeah. He's on unknown G. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get the scoop. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't uh, build the list. Exactly. <laughs> so, right here, I think Jimmy will likely. Um, Does it heal everyone or just it's only SPs. Um, I think Jimmy will probably just snipe around this uh, this ditto. Jimmy, um, take out the Mewtwo, yeah. Taking out the Mewtwo, which could definitely pose a problem in the future, because um, Mewtwo. Oh, that thing becoming a problem later in the game. Because <laughs> Mewtwo, um, level X has a Poke Body where basics can't do any damage to it. Yep. Or effects. Oh man. So. Oh, earlier I did say Giga Burn for two hundred. No way, man. Giga Burn for one twenty. Might be. Man. Imagine 120 just being standard now. Like, not even that that much damage. <laughs> no. Not, not in today's format. Not in today's format. I'm just thinking, how, like, the power creep. Ridiculous. I, I, I wonder how, <laughs> how either of these decks would fare against something like Dragapult. Yeah. Copperage, Cinderace, your next 350, 340, 50, 350 HP. Right. 300 HP. Like, granted, yes, three prizes, but insane. Like, I guess Gengar has fainting spell, but I mean, 
you know, with um with boss's orders, you could uh what's it called? You you could just shred it and then yeah. boss's orders put it to the bench and then just put five. Oh man. Yeah, wow. The power creep, bro. Oh yeah. So Dwayne here I think will probably end up shadow rooming oh, he can't shadow room. So unfortunately this ditto not really doing too much for Dwayne now. Um he could um hit Jimmy's Gengar um or sorry, not Gengar C um Garchomp C for sixty using Gengar's um claw attack. Not ideal. And hitting for weakness. <laughs> but it's not the best. Maximum effort, Dwayne. I think. <laughs> Especially seeing as how Jimmy is um up one prize. So if if Dwayne doesn't get a knockout this turn, I think that uh he's going to be in a world of hurt. Yep. But man, if if only Dwayne had a psychic energy, he would at least be able to stay in the race. Yeah. But going off for one. Here we go. Oh, oh we got the psychic. Got the psychic, bro. What a pro. Oh. The pro top decks. Wow. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. And wow, Dwayne getting the psychic off the two for one with Claydol. Lucky. Good stuff. Just able to stay in the game. There you go. Wow. And now Jimmy will now have to have a response. Now I think I th I think with Garchomp, um it was put to the um Oh, it wasn't put to the bench, so it cannot um, Dragon Rush again. Yeah. Unless it gets uh, goes back to the bench and goes into the active again. So... Hmm... If Jimmy was able to Dragon Rush, um, he would be able to knock out that Machop on the bench, which actually is starting to seem like a pretty big threat. I think it says uh, how it can respond immediately back to something like Mewtwo, Level X, or Garchomp C. Yeah. But, as it, as it is right now, it does look like Jimmy is about to um, use Shadow Room, most likely. I don't I don't think he really wants to... Um, uh, Jimmy, you put a card on top. Oh, and there's a Mewtwo level X. Here we go. So Jimmy about to Mewtwo level X and attach two energy with the base Mewtwo's absor uh, energy absorption. All right. So now Dwayne can actually respond back with Rare Candy Machamp. Oh man. And he's getting the Machamp. He's getting the Machamp we, we ready. Know he, and we know he has a candy in hand. So. Oh man. Actually, I think uh, what, what I would have liked Jimmy, uh, Jimmy to do was to attach the double and then Shadow Room because. Because if he shadow rooms the Uxie, all he needs is a um a poke turn, and then uh, Garchomp can just snipe. But... I th I, I, he might be out of poke turns. At this oh point. yes, he might be out of poke turns. But I guess we'll see how this happens. Uh, Jimmy just is straight <laughs> immediately starts with um, cosmic power. Going from zero to six cards is pretty nice. Yep. In hand, four. Ooh, Jimmy thinking about using Poltergeist. 
definitely, definitely um, an interesting option. If if Dwayne's four cards are all trainer supporter stadiums, then the Machamp gets knocked out. And it looks like it is. Oh, no. It looks like it is. And um, don't tell Jimmy, but it, all of Dwayne's cards are actually trainers. Mm. <laughs> so. <laughs> Ooh, this will be quite a move. But Jimmy doesn't know that. No. So. <laughs> oh, he's going to do it. I, I think um, I, I think Jimmy is um, going to go for it. Going to go for it. And he'll be it's, right. It's, it's the only play he really has, honestly. Like, Shatter Room, you know. Sh Shatter Room would be okay, but... Man, if he could knock out this Machamp, then he could just... Possibly win next turn. Uh, what kind of deal Assuming that there's Pokes turn left. Mm -hmm. But still, taking an energy out um, out of the equation makes it so that uh, Dwayne can't do any magic stuff with Lucian or anything. <laughs> All right. Jimmy thinking about whether it's worth it or not to Poltergeist. Dwayne here with his best poker face. Uh -oh. Trying not to give anything away. Um. Here we go. Does he do it? Does he do it? If he doesn't, Dwayne can actually put back some supporters and with a baby search so that um Poltergeist doesn't do uh, as much damage, so I, I guess we'll see what Jimmy will do. And Jimmy Shadow Rooms! Oh, man. He Shadow Rooms! Oh, if he would have just gone for it. <laughs> if, he, if he went for it, he, he would have knocked out the Machamp. But... Interesting. Okay. So, so Dwayne using huh. Lucian. Um, Hurricane Punch. Oh, what is he doing? Hurricane Punch for 30 damage. I would have liked to have seen him just snipe. Oh. Yeah, I uh, Dwayne didn't have any switching cards, so. Yeah. Um, I forgot to do many things that turn, but it's okay. That's okay. Um, to be fair, um, you know, I I do I do like Jimmy's um shadow room play because it gets rid of the Gengar, which yeah. is arguably a bit more of a threat than the Machamp at the moment. I agree. That's all right. I can't do anything anyway. Um, so I I actually do think that the um Hurricane Punch was the right play because he could have just won that turn <laughs> yeah although it would have been a one in 16 chance yep i was still at or poltergeist here one in four, eight, 16 yep all right here we go will jimmy go for the poltergeist i i do i, I do believe that um it's not doing enough damage anymore oh but Going with Shadow Room. If he would have done it last turn. So Shadow Rooming here would actually bring the the game to a possible coin flip. Yep. Assuming Dwayne knocks out um, the Gengar right now. Very interesting situation here. Um, I think Shadow Rooming and then going for a um, possible Garchomp C-Snipe next turn um, would would give Jimmy the game. 
assuming that he still has a D the is. Gengar doesn't get knocked out. Yep, he has a DC either. Yep. So here we go. There are so many targets that that Jimmy could uh, could yeah, oh, knock out next oh, turn. Oh, for sure. It's all so, going to come out of this. So it's all going to come down to some flips. <laughs> wow. Imagine that, though. Oh, on yeah, Jim, he has Jimmy DC in his hand being anyway. on the cusp of winning. Oh, I know. After being down three prizes at once. Yeah. That's a mighty comeback. Man. There we go. The shatter. We see the shatter room on the Gengar. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, he got the energy. He can shatter room the Gengar. What? Oh, now you retreated? Is, is, is. You attacked me with this, did you? <laughs> 60. Yeah, I, I think Dwayne, yeah, Dwayne wins. Oh. He shatter rooms. Okay. Yeah, that's not what you did at all. You did this. No, I retreated. I was that's like, that's not what you did at all. You attacked <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy trying to rule shark. <laughs> oh. oh wow! Wow, what a game! What a game! Top top decks like a bot. Dwayne top, top decks like a boss, boss. Bro. Top decking twice. Wow. Yeah. Great match, guys. Wow, what a match. Jimmy, wow. Jimmy, so close, bud. That was close. That was so close. I tried to play into it. Oh, right? uh, if you had a poltergeist in that one, that uh, that uh -huh. last turn, you would have knocked him out. He had four trainers in it. Yeah, that's that's totally fair. He he had to have four out of four. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, oh, for sure. Like, <laughs> only if you would have known. Mm -hmm. But wow, that was. That's good. Yeah. Only three poke turns. Yeah. There's only like six psychic. But I don't, I don't know. It was a pr pretty interesting game. But yeah. All right, guys. Good. All right. Um, are are we are we done now? Is was that the last round? All right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yep. Please tune in next tune Saturday. In next week, I think the next um poll will be on Snowpoint. Okay, so so the you guys, the viewers, guys and gals, the viewers can pick which format next uh, we will do next Saturday. Two thousand levels there. Um, two thousand six is on the um is on the board as well. So you know what? Um, it'll be shared on Top Cut events page. Um, and yep. other Facebook pages. So just be sure to vote. Um, we'll be back next week. Thank you, all right, guys, everyone, for watching. Have a good weekend. Have a good, have a good week.